I'm Jake. I'm Tom. And we are VIMTV Velocities in Music today to start our set of 10 today, episode 179, a 2010 release from Avenge Sevenfold Nightmare. Sweet album cover with the with the like skull death like coming over the girl sleeping. I mm -hmm. love it. Tom, what's up with Avenge Sevenfold? Avenge Sevenfold, they they have Probably one of the biggest underground followings, well, not really anymore underground, but one of the most dedicated followings in metal music these days. They're from California. They started when they were really young. This is like their fifth full-length album. Uh, they started when they were in their like their upper teens. I mean, these guys are just like in their upper 20s right now, and they've Super got like talented. five albums under the belt. Uh, some of the, some of the most amazing instrumentals you'll hear. Uh, then again, you know, I'll put quotes around that because anymore, if you're in a metal band of any kind and you don't have the most amazing instrumentalist ever, then you're going to be subpar. There's a really high standard in this genre for that. But still, these guys definitely meet that. But these these guys have have this really image, this image that's like really you know that kind of goth, really badass look. They, they go go by these monikers. Their vocalist is M shadows their guitarists are sinister gates and zacky vengeance and then their bass player is johnny christ and so this whole kind of image all works together and and it's really interesting and, and it all becomes part of this kind of uh brand uh, yeah this a7x culture uh, <coughs> that, that they have going with their fans um now unfortunately the these guys kind of had a crisis back i think it was in december uh their drummer the rev died mm -hmm. And which was really tragic. He was a fantastic drummer, uh, but they replaced him for this album and for their tour with none other than Mike Portnoy of Dream Theater, one of the best drummers you'll ever find out there. Um, so he does a fantastic job on this. It's too bad that the Rev died, but at least they're still moving along, and I know a lot of this is dedicated to him. He even was a big part of the songwriting. Uh, but before we jump into the specifics, uh, uh, specifics of this album in particular, Nightmare, I want to talk about a little bit about metal and, and, and what Avenged Sevenfold brings to it, because when you have radio-friendly metal, which I would say these guys are, they've had some big radio hits in the past with Bat Country, Almost Easy, even uh, Seize the Day. Which well, was Beast in the like, Harlot was on Guitar Hero. Yeah, it was Hero on Guitar Hero, yeah, exactly. That's the only song my wife could ever beat me on. <laughs> I remember that. Um, so these guys have gotten a lot of commercial success, and that can be a very polarizing thing <coughs> in the metal world, because you have a lot of hardcore metal heads out there that if you're not going oh, all the time, and if you get any radio play, then you're selling out, mm -hmm. just just flat out. I mean, uh, a lot of people think that way. Whereas these guys, they're not like that. Uh, M Shadows actually has kind of a nasally voice mm -hmm. as far as metal goes. I mean, he can still get some some gruffness, some throaty action behind that, but uh, but overall, not that death and doom and destruction. Uh, ominous sound that you get from a lot of those metal bands. At the same time, because of that, they're more accessible, they're on the radio, so they have this huge following because a lot of the people that listen to the radio and rock radio will see these guys as being a lot more badass than the rest of the stuff that's on the radio, which right. is true. So they're kind of on the fence because of that, and, be and for that reason, a lot of people will be on the fence about them. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that, I, I mean, everything you said fits what I've what yeah. I thought of, of Avenged Sevenfold and, and Nightmare. And and from what I've heard of these guys in the past, this album seems to be just a little bit cooler than what than some of the heat that they had in some of the other albums. And and one thing that I noticed and something that I've criticized a lot of bands for is that they, you know relying on super catchy choruses. Now Avenged Sevenfold does this on on Nightmare in a way that I really enjoy and I love how they how they're bringing it because their songwriting and 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 the different parts they they are they're constantly varying their song structures and their songwriting to make the the choruses blend and and when you get to the choruses while they are extremely catchy they're pretty too and it works because there's lots of vocal harmonies you know they it's it's fast paced it's fun and and I like it now what what actually brought this album down for me Tom is is mm -hmm. really I thought I thought the, the verses at times in certain songs were just a, a not not real enough like a little too salesy and it needed to be more a little more su subdued right yeah. I you know when it comes down to this sort of you know radio friendly is a good way to put it but what I would really want to hear from Avenged Sevenfold is I want to be scared that the lead singer and the guy screaming at me during during the verse is gonna kill himself I want to hear raw intensity I want to hear fear and mm -hmm. and just loathing of life 
And and I don't really get that. You here. definitely I'm a little disappointed. You definitely feel like it's more of a perf performance than an actual like lifestyle. Yep. Like realness that you're getting from this yep. guy. Uh, also, you know, it's one thing I got to give Harvey Milk. You yeah. know, made it real. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is very true. Um, now, one thing about this album in particular. Uh, there's a lot more of the soft guitar, the clean yeah. electric guitar sound. And you get that in a lot of in a lot of metal stuff. Um, but the, but usually it's a little more separated. Like they'll rock your ass off for a while and then then switch into kind of the soft stuff. This it's very interspersed. I mean, even within the same song, you'll you'll be going back and forth with that a mm -hmm. lot. Uh, so very interesting. Now, one thing you mentioned to me mm -hmm. is that this is clearly very Metallica influenced. Um, you get a lot of Metallica stuff in there uh, with some of the guitar riffs, even, uh, the even, even some of the vocals, yes, especially in the first track, I'd say. Mm -hmm. um, also, I think any time you have that, what I like what I said, radio-friendly metal, you're going to get some Metallica because really Metallica... Black Album was one of the first huge commercial metal successes. And by the way, I'm not counting anything that happened with hair metal in the 80s. Poison, Twisted Sister, Rat, uh, White Snake. No, 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 no. Not counting that as metal in, in this context. I'm talking about real metal, what you'd consider metal today. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that was started with Metallica. Which you post your article you wrote about it. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Um, so... You know, of course you're going to get a little bit of that because some of the same things have to be applied in order to even get it into that kind of genre. Um, but but still, they do some different things with it, and uh, they're definitely. I, I mean, I, you got to say Mike Portnoy does a lot more on the drums than Lars Ulrich ever did, and uh, <laughs> and, and the drums are my favorite part of this yeah, album. Yeah, they're fantastic. And, and and actually, my biggest criticism of it is just I I felt in the closing track, Tom. I know you really like that. Yeah. Very pretty, cool piano part in it. Mm -hmm. Um, I really did feel like tracks eight, nine, and then and ten was uh, it was slightly better, but still, I mean, by that point, the album had really cooled off mm -hmm. for me, and and I didn't like that as much. I would have rather just had my face rocked off. Yeah. Um, and which is strange. How, how often do you hear an indie kid say that? <laughs> my, my, my track picks on this were, were probably the three heaviest songs. Yeah. So my track picks were two, Welcome to the Family, three, Danger Line. Oh my god, Danger Line! Ah! <laughs> and then uh, track seven, God Hates Us. I'm going to go with track two, Welcome to the Family. That's great, a great song. Great song. Five, Natural Born Killer. Really good, just metal, badass intro. Um... My one criticism of that song, though, the guitar riff, once it gets past that crazy part, sounds so much like yeah. Almost Easy from their self-titled album. So much like it. Um, and then the last track, Fiction, I love that song. But but really, this is a good album. A big criticism of mine is that while Zacky Vengeance and Sinister Gates are fabulous guitarists, they're not really stepping outside of their boundaries. They're, they're pulling a lot of the same tricks that you'll hear them do on other albums. But overall, the structure of this album has a lot more of that classic, epic metal grandeur right. than, than the songwriting, almost pop-formatted songwriting uh, focus of their previous work. Which is something I really appreciate. Yes, me too. So they're, they're moving in, in a specific direction, which is cool. I just hope that the instrumentals can catch up even more with the songwriting mm -hmm. things they're doing. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think I'm going to give this a 68. Mm -hmm. 68. Settle with that. I'm going to go 69. Yeah, yeah. I think we. Great. It's it's good, but there's just there's too many weak tracks, and it's not like explosive enough yeah. to really get up there. You know, and, and it's still a very solid metal album. So, mm -hmm. but, but I, I have a lot of respect for these guys. I really hope that they keep in the direction they're going. Right. So what do you think? Do you guys like Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare? Do you think that it's a good direction to go to? Or do you would you prefer their older stuff and wish that they would retain that style? Tell us why at www.velocitiesandmusic.com. Other than that, that's Avenged Sevenfold's Nightmare here at VIMTV. I am Jake. I'm Tom. And we are moving music critique forward.